Hey guys, what is up? Dave here, coming back to you with just a quick update video. I turned off my fan for you. Love me for this. Um, because it's really freaking hot in my house. Oh my god. Also, if my audio quality's gone down, it's because I've gotten lazy and I haven't used my Blue Yeti. Sorry. Not really. Kind of sorry. I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> I wanted to make a little bit of an update video for you guys today. I'm finally taking advantage of my TechX online website. Um, this is basically supposed to be like my portfolio site slash my sharing it with you website. And what I'm going to primarily be using it for is anything I'm working on, get the blog post here. If it's projects I'm working on, like current projects, old projects, source code, anything that's archival, like all my 1320 challenge, legends, and uh, 555R stuff, or racing rivals, or any of the Halo archive stuff that I have, um, because boy, let me tell you what, it's goddamn 12, 11 at night, it's not even the 4th of July yet, people need to stop blowing off their fireworks, my son is trying to sleep. Thank you. Have a nice evening. Anyway, I have a crazy amount of Halo stuff. So that might get posted here. It might not. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Anyway, um, I just wanted to let you know that the stuff is being uploaded with um, some information of how to like mess with it, some nerdy talk. So, like, for example, I'll go over the Legends post because Legends is a hot topic. People love this stuff. Uh, so, the history of 1320 Legends. Neto 1320 Legends was actually the third game in a series of game... Of games? Yeah, that's proper grammar. Games released by the company C Games. Released in April 2007 for the world to play. The game was a quick success. 2.5D... 2.5? 2 2.5? 2 2.5? 2.5? 2.5D visuals, live racing, live chat, wall racing, more cars, car tuning, and, ama and an amazingly advanced engine building system that to this day, even after browsing the source code of the game an uncountable amount of times, people don't understand. If you would like to know more about Nitto 1320 Legends and see it in action, view the video below. Nitto 1320 Legends shut down in favor of Racing Rivals in 2014. Again, I will always shout out Kennard. He's a great guy. He is an absolute madman when it comes to archiving this stuff, and it's time that we share it to get it to all of you because we don't want it lost to the internet. We don't want it lost to time. That's why it's up here. And then there is this video, the Tech X History, explaining Nitto 1320 Legends for those who never played it. In my opinion, a fantastic video. Granted, all I did was talk over it and kind of took the video from somebody else, but he never responded to emails. So technically it's fair use because I was giving commentary on it. So I guess it's like a reaction video. <laughs> Some of the nerdy stuff about Legends. Uh, so the game was originally coded with Adobe Flash and Adobe Director. Cars were made with 3D models first, then all angled specifically, rendered, cartooned up in Photoshop, and put into the game. The body of most cars is the body of most cars is separate from the body parts, hoods, bumpers, windows, lights, etc., to make visual customization a breeze as far as body kits and other visual modifications for the cars. As for the coding of the game or viewing the assets, your best bet is to download a tool called JPEX's Flash Decompiler. From there, run the main executable, executable, Jesus Christ, of the game, open JPEX's, and select the 1320 Legends um, running process to extract the SWF from process memory. Now you can save it as an SWF or view the code in JPEX's code viewer if you have any version later. And 0.9.4.2, most of the server communication is found under frame 12. Um, and there's close to 2,000 lines of code to view. That's true. And then from here, all download links that I have for 1320 Legends from private beta 4.1.0 all the way up to 0.10.03. 
And then we also have Challenge, which is awesome. So many of you know the history of Challenge. I don't need to talk it out um, and all that other stuff. There's a lot more downloads for Challenge than there are Legends, really. Uh, there's 058 through 1.52S, as well as 1.01 for the Mopar Tournament. And then there is also an archive.org post for Legends and Challenge, so you'll find them there if anything ever happens to these Google Drive files, which is highly likely because I'm kind of using a weird trick to um, get them. So, yeah, that's basically what's going on. I'll upload the 555R stuff in a couple of days. I'm trying to do these posts every two, three days. So this will, 555R will probably be put up on Sunday. And then, um, Racing Rivals is going to be a nightmare because there's 312 gigs of one file to upload that I have to compress it all first into a zip file. I don't know how I'm going to do it. Uh, maybe if I delete all the Halo stuff, I'll have enough space. Hmm. Who would have thought? I don't, I, I'm not going to do hardly anything with almost any of this because it's four... It's, it's literally for Xbox. I don't have an Xbox. I don't have a way to play these, so I can just delete most of this. The only stuff I wouldn't want to delete is, like, this stuff that's actually PC playable. As you can see, like, cache.exe. Oh, wait, no, that's Xbox. Can't use that. Can't use that. Yeah, all 90% of this is freaking... Xbox stuff that I can't use because I don't have a modded Xbox to play it on. So, you know, maybe if I delete most of that stuff and maybe if I delete most of my Nexon download folder, that's fucking huge. Uh, sorry. Effing huge. <laughs> um, there's also some other Blitz Tech stuff. Uh, this stuff will be on my website as well soon. It's already uploaded. I just got to type up a post for it. There is a lot of weird little stuff that I'll be sharing. Um, but as of right now, that's a useless folder. As of right now, it's basically just getting the challenge and racing rival stuff up. The racing rival stuff is going to be a nightmare because if you go 1320 archive and you look at my RR official, this is just the APKs alone. 3.16 gigs. Uh, that post is going to be hard really hard it's gonna be time consuming maybe i'll stream while i'm making that one anyway guys i'm gonna stop wasting your time i just wanted to let you know about this and by the way yes somebody mentioned it i've totally given up on my etsy shop again like i just said screw it entirely because it, it eh, I, don't, I don't need it it's, I don't even know if I've had any sales or anything. Auto Life Forever. I've had six sales? Who bought stuff from me? What? Who bought stuff from me? Oh, I bought stuff from me. <laughs> A lot of these sold. A lot more than I intended. I bought one. I don't... Some random guy that just happened to find the sticker bought this one. And then the rest of the Area 51 stickers and the Green Machine Scion TC. Yeah, I don't know who those people are. But anyway. Yeah, I gave up on that. There's no point in it. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, help me archive this stuff so it doesn't go away. Because that's something the internet is very good at, is unfortunately letting stuff die when it comes to files like this. Like somebody came to me a couple days ago and was asking for Cartown files. And since it wasn't a downloaded game, it was streamed through Facebook. I don't have an SWF for it. Nobody I know has a SWF for it. And... Yeah, it's just gone. 90% of it's just gone. So, the only thing I know of for Cartown that's even still around is 
Well, nothing. Really. Some custom graphic wraps and that's it. Cartown Streets is still possible to get because the APKs are available since it was hosted by Miniclip rather than C Games. So that's about the only th other thing. But let's see who made it to the end of this video because nobody answered my question in the last one. Hmm, what was your favorite car in Nitto 1320 Legends? Your favorite car to race. What was your a absolute favorite car? Mine is kind of a tie-up. It was the either the K24 Swap Integra GSR, WD40 Camaro, or the uh, 07 Scion TC once we figured out the setup with the Beast 40 PSI Turbo. Then there was, if I was doing bracket, I would usually use premium cars, and I would take the, uh, oh, what was that? The big muscle car dragster. I can't remember it off the top of my head, but I'd know it if I saw it. I would take that, and I would break the shit out of the engine and just make it the lowest possible HP you can. And then I would multi-rim the car so it would rev lower, so the wheels were heavier and launch it like a rocket and run like 12766 or slower. I think the slowest one I ever had had four rims installed and it was a 19.499 car. It was so much fun. People did not expect it. People didn't know how to react. The thing revved at like 2500 with a 2.5 2.5 ratio. Oh, it was mint. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out.